two levels of research in my opinion. One is a very basic and uh, fundamental research where you investigate or uh, you make some basic discoveries in the lab or, or in the academic sector. The second level is more applied level where you try to solve uh, actual problems of the real world. And agroecology is dealing with the, with the second kind of research, I think. Um, and there uh, we apply the knowledge and this knowledge can come from anywhere. It can come from scholarly knowledge from, from the academic sector or it can be the local knowledge in the communities, in the, in the, in the farming communities, um, in the society which is already available. Um, I think ideal is when you make a good, um, good combination of both the academic knowledge and the, the local knowledge available among the farming communities and, and uh, general public. There is a big farming systems comparison project in Kenya, India and Bolivia. There we deal with the, um, solving the uh, actual practical problems of farmers um, by the participatory approach where we involve farmers from the beginning for um, group discussions and, uh, and um, consultancies and we discuss with them uh, to find out which are priority issues uh, to be addressed and then we brainstorm together, together uh, take, taking all kind of stakeholders together, um, marketing and trade organizations, farmers, extension agencies um, and, and we try to find out locally adaptable solutions for their problems and then these solutions are tested on farmers fields by the farmers so this is i think a very good approach where we uh, do it it's it's like whole work is done for the farmers with the farmers by the farmers um, and we have come up uh, um, with uh, uh, quite some uh, interesting results uh, for the uh, to solve the problem of uh, soil nutrition. There we um, work with rock phosphate enriched uh, compost where we use locally available uh, products such as buttermilk to acidulate the rock phosphate and then enrich the compost with it so as to enhance the availability of phosphorus uh, in the organic production. And we have also in consultation with various farmer groups we came up with local um, biological pesticides. So locally made preparations, we have standardized them and we have produced a number of leaflets uh, for the procedures to prepare these uh, uh, such substances. And this knowledge now coming from local um, communities and local areas, it is transferable. So you can use this knowledge from in other places and you can work with the same approach in various uh, um, countries or regions. Mm -hmm.